Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Terratech. And on this episode, we are going to kind of continue where we left off. The last couple episodes, I actually think three episodes, have been a old save game because if you watched the previous episodes uh, on this recent patch, uh, I started up, I did a little bit into the game, and then off camera, I was uh, basically running around harvesting and not only did I get destroyed, but so did my base. So I told you guys that I would restart off camera get back to a point where we were really close to where we were and uh, then continue on. So those other episodes basically been a little bit of filler. I had to <laughs> load onto those with an old save game, then put my previous save game back and go back and forth like that to do those episodes. But I finally have gotten to a point where we can start up again. Now some of you may be wondering why I am not uh, doing the next patch and the main reason behind that guys is uh, pretty simple. I like to see kind of every step of the way that the game makes. And yeah, that may mean I miss a few patches here and there in between while I concentrate on one, but it allows me to see where the game was and how it was changed and what direction it might be going. Whereas if I was doing every patch because I don't do enough videos or play the game uh, nearly as much as I would really like to, uh, I kind of miss out on a lot of the changes and I just see the finished product, which is amazing, but uh, this is a cool feeling to kind of go through the game as it's being developed. That was not something uh, I could do very often as, uh, you know, a younger gamer. So we're actually, before I keep going on to this, this is my base, this is my bot. I have done a, a similar idea with uh, the GSO blocks as I was doing with my yellow ones on the base building, is I kind of have a central bot here in the middle, and then I left some open space here and then built around it and put some more wheels here, and I could put some more wheels on the inside to give it that extra support. And this would allow me to basically keep doing the same design over and over, just getting bigger and bigger each time and allowing me to not have to worry about the weight uh, too much because I'll have plenty of wheels, uh, a lot of empty space, and if one day I want to, I can kind of open up the center and put my base in here, or I can put some uh, recharge bubbles, and it allows you that, that empty chasm to do that at will, as many as you need, or throw some extra batteries on, or some radar units, uh, just having that empty space. Granted, your bot would be a little bit stronger with, you know, completely filled, but I found that it's really not that big of a deal. If they get through the first uh, two layers, chances are you weren't going to stand a chance anyways because most of your weapons are gone. So I really like this design. I think for now we're going to keep it like a dump truck and maybe fill in this back part with resources later on. But for now, so we can get started and get out there and see what we can find, I am going to put my, uh, my recharge bubble, my repair bubble in here. And I'm also going to put my uh, solar generator. That way when we get out there, because I'm planning on going out into the desert region and seeing if we can find this airplane, because I really, really want to check that out. That is something that has been interesting me for a while now. And to be able to fly over the landscape and really just devastate some enemies if you can just, you know, swing right by him. Oh, there's one guy out there. And he looks like he's pretty big. I don't know if we could take him. He looks like he has a lot of weapons, but he does also seem like he has some blocks maybe we don't have. So we will come out here, see if we can kill this guy real quick. Come on, kill him. Die! Die, fuck! Oh, we are devastating this guy. Come on, die! Yes! Oh my god, look at all those blocks, people. That is amazing. Oh, yes. I can't remember how excited I was when I, when you, when you get these kind of blocks. I mean... We've been, we've been messing with blocks that are like 10 times better than these, but this is still a very cool feeling to finally get these back again. Uh, because as you can see, I sorely need the uh, the extra blocks to kind of finish off my design. And, and uh, There's a weapon there, that's right. I'll go ahead and pick that up, move it over here. I'll worry about direction uh, after we've gotten all our blocks up. And you know what I could do to stop myself from moving is I can put my solar generator down here. There we go, and I'll put the battery on it, and it can go ahead and start charging me up while I mess around with my bot. Now, what I have found is if you go into build mode, uh, a lot less bots will show up than if you're not in build mode. And I kind of show you what's going on here. I'm not going to be in build mode. I'm not going to mess around with that yet, uh, but I want you to see just uh, what I mean with that. You'll see maybe not so much on this one because there's already a bot that has spawned in the corner, and... You know, it may be that there's only so many that can uh, show up on the map at one given time. 
it might have been that way with previous patches. I don't think that's the case anymore because that's kind of what happened to me already, um, which is why I had to restart, is <laughs> the mob spawned nearby and I kind of ignored him and went on, you know, harvesting. And then another one spawned nearby and I, I ignored him and went on harvesting. And before long, you know, there was five, six of them on the map and uh, they just completely overwhelmed me. They just completely wiped the floor when they all attacked at the exact same time. And because I was harvesting, I was very close to my base, uh, in fact, right on it, and that's why uh, it was just one of those things, like worst case scenarios, you really did not want that happening to you. Let's put this down here. And that's why now, and pre before as well, but I kind of got a little cocky, is I almost always stayed away from my base. I never went towards my base unless I was absolutely sure, you know, nothing was following me. I kind of showed up, and I was always uh, just watching you know what might be around the next corner and I've kinda gotten away from that because I have had a high bot or you know very tough bot that was incredibly good and didn't really have to uh, you know worry about that anymore like being the 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 slow poke on the the block and everything like that so or you know like the one that has to worry about dying every single fight you know I could pretty much get in the fight and as long as I had the resources to recharge my, my shield bubble and all that other stuff. Ooh, and I got this. I forgot all about that. Uh, put a block there in its case. Now, that is an anchor that I picked up. We've gotten that before. You can put uh, one of those AI units on there, and it will uh, go ahead and, uh, you know, actually attack. if They have uh, some uh, guard towers and little uh, cannons on there. So, yeah, it's a fairly decent little thing, and I love getting them next to my base because, again... If you have a few of those down, I only had one, and it got destroyed pretty quickly once I got destroyed. And if I had more of those, I think that the fight would have went very differently, because I have done that on previous levels where I do, uh, you know, use more instead of uh, just, the, just the one. And I've used that when the invaders spawn, and I'll run back there and hopefully, you know, get a little bit of uh, help from that. But... Not always, you know, sometimes it's not enough, even with, you know, all the weapons and, you know, even if you put like four of them down, if an invader spawns and you're really not ready for it and you can't even help out a little bit in the fight, uh, you may find that it's, uh, <laughs> it's not going to go your way regardless. So I would stay away from your base because once the enemy kills you and you respawn, I think it pretty much loses interest. Like, it doesn't normally track you down again. Uh, granted, you won't get any of your blocks back, but at least you have your base and you can rebuild from that. But again, you know, it's it's really how much you want to sacrifice. Let's go ahead and pick uh, this up. I think we got, I think we got our the front of our base healed up too, or our bot, anyways. Let's let's go ahead and check that real quick. Now it does take a couple of seconds to power up, as you can see right there. There we go. Oh no, it's a good idea. It's a good thing we did this then because. If I had taken off, <laughs> you know, the the first part of my bot to get destroyed would be my weapons, and that's like the most important thing. And you'll be surprised about, at least for me anyways, the weapons seem to be the first thing that goes every single time. And I do understand why, you know, the placement of it is just, you know, right there on the front of your bot, and I attack very, uh, you know, straightforward, just charge kind of thing. But, I don't know, it, you would just think that there would be a better way of protecting them uh, granted, once you do get your shield generator and repair bubbles, uh, that definitely is a, uh, a method to control the loss on that a little bit, but still, I would, I would still prefer, I don't know, something else, maybe like a protective covering you can put over them so that, you know, they have to get through that. Maybe it doesn't add that much protection, but it's just that extra something so that they don't, you know, get destroyed so quickly. Especially at higher levels, when you start taking on uh, the Geocore blocks, the big yellow ones. Oh, great, we got another guy already. Sweet, come on. Give me something I don't have. Die. Oh, man, we are decimating this guy. As long as we're facing forward. <laughs> oh, there's nothing left. Oh, we got boosters. Nice. We haven't really messed around with the boosters too much uh, on previous ones. So I do want to... I want to do a really fast spot with the uh, the venture blocks and put like boosters all over this sucker. Make it just an accident waiting to happen with an explosion or something. But yeah, <laughs> I think if you do something like that, it'd be freaking amazing with the speed. Controlling it be a nightmare. But 
yeah, <laughs> I think it would be fun, it, regardless of, you know, how difficult it is. Maybe that would be where a lot of the fun would lie, is just, am I skilled enough to not spin out all over the place and, and not be able to control this big, massive bot, which we just, uh, you know, kind of sat here and made. Let's see, I guess we can pick up this, and we'll go back one more level. Let's see, we're going to put this down right... Can we put it in the middle? Yes, perfect. Nice, I like that. Okay, so we'll just wait for it to charge up. Nope, is it not charging? I don't think it's attached. Come on, can I attach it? Oh, there it goes. Go down. There we go. Now you're attached. This is going to be nice. This is exactly right where I need it. And that way I can get as much of my bot in there without having to move it around too much. So let's see, can we move forward? Nope, we are completely stuck, which is good. Means my bot doesn't uh, drift off to the side. I've noticed he's been doing that lately, which has been kind of weird. Is uh, he'll just drift, you know, to one side or the other, or he'll, you know, back, you know, just back up or go forward very, very slowly. And I'm not quite sure what's doing that. It's, as I said, it's kind of one of those things that you notice, and you're just like, well, is it, is it lagging out, or is it me? And no, uh, then you figure out that no, it just does that from time to time. Let's go ahead and move up. And the only reason you even notice it really is when you are sitting at your base trying to do something, you know, like move your move your uh, blocks around. And I really, really hope, if they haven't added it by now, that they do add it soon, where you can target your base as your center of attention, allowing you to redesign your base uh, as you would like, you know, rather than having to use a bot off to the side and trying to target it and and trying to make sure that you can see all of it. it. It would just be easier to make it the center of attention, like when you can take over a bot, you can move around from one to the other and back and forth, uh, you know, from five, six, seven bots, however many you want. Uh, but each time you take it over, that becomes the center of attention for you. How far out do you think this airplane is? I didn't see anything on the map yet, but maybe, uh, maybe all the way out here into the mountain region, but we'll see if we can get up this. Uh, it's the only reason... I even stopped uh, the commentary because I'm not... Oh, there we go. Boosters. Boosters. <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice. Oh, there's something out here. There's something out here. What is it going to be? Oh, and I, I, I remember... Um, man, I wish I could pronounce his name, but it's in Russian. And I don't speak Russian. I wish I did. That would be awesome to be able to, you know, have another language to be able to speak. Because I only really speak English. Not even that well. So <laughs> I don't know if I can get out of this. Here we go. Let's try. Come on. No, no enemies. I am too big. Oh, and there's too much junk underneath me. Can we do... <laughs> I don't know if we could do this, guys. What are we hitting? Oh, you know what it is? It's this stupid thing. Uh, we're going to take that out. Can we move now? No, <laughs> we still cannot move. Come on, tell me we're not stuck. Oh, man. What are we stuck on? It can't be these little spikes in the front, can it? I mean, how picky do they want to be? Ah, come on. I'm going to have to put all this back. No. No. Get out of here. Move forward. Something. Oh, my God, guys. I apologize for this. This is embarrassing. I should not have this much trouble getting out of here at this stage of the game. You know what? I'm going to put a wheel on the front and see if that makes any difference. There we go. At least it's turning me. Sort of. No. <laughs> Oh, this is just so wrong. Dang it, I thought we were past this kind of stuff. Oh, like a freaking noob is what this is. Dang it. <laughs> oh, this is just getting more embarrassing by the minute, guys. Oh, oh my god. This is not... What am I doing wrong? Is it getting stuck in the back, too? I mean, how much of a beast is this thing? This is just... Oh. How many wheels do I got to take off? Every wheel I take off, I got to put back on. Come on, at least let me turn in some semblance to get the crap out of here. Come on. And I'm pushing forward and I'm pushing left to do this. So I am not moving forward at all. Not yet. Hopefully pretty soon here. Oh, my God. It's so painfully slow. This is... And the only reason I'm even moving is because the wheel's in the front, I think. As soon as these can grip, though, I think the 
problem is all this junk underneath me. I might actually just have to pick it all up, you know, piece by piece and fling it in another direction to be able to get out of here. Here we go, finally. Ugh. That was so horrible, guys. Ah, oh, don't tell me I'm stuck again. No, and an invader is coming. This is a nightmare. <laughs> okay, well, we may lose our bot here. And by may, I mean almost guaranteed. Uh, we got to get our bot ready. We got to get these wheels off. Come on, guys. Oh, come on. At least the wheels could cooperate. Nothing else will yet. Uh, come on, give me my wheel. There we go. There we go. <laughs> You guys are moving now. Ugh. Stop for a second. There we come on. Keep moving. There we go. Ugh. I wanted to stop, but I didn't want to get bogged down with all that junk in there. And I'm already moving backwards again. I know I'm on a hill, that's why I'm sliding, but <laughs> there we go. twelve seconds. Oh my god. Just enough time to get my wheels back into place. But not enough time to go over here and pick up this whatever it is. Actually, maybe. Let's see. Oh, where is it going to spawn? What is this thing? I don't know what that is. Let me see if I can zoom out. Okay, well, I can't stop yet. Hold on one guy a second. Um, I need to figure out where this guy is. He's way over there. Okay, he's uh, a good distance away. Let me get up to where I'm stable and I'm not sliding down. And we will go ahead and take a look at this. Geocorb cab armor plate. An armor plate with a porthole in the side so that people inside can see out. Does that mean what I think it means? Like if Was this just what I was asking for earlier where I can put this in front of my weapons? to uh, protect them if they're, say, on the inside? Or is it just for looks? Because now... No, I guess because it doesn't connect to... You know what? If I put another one next to it, they would be connected. And then I could take the block from behind it and put the weapon down. But because I only have one of them right now, I can't try that out to see if it actually works. But I bet it does. I bet that would work. Now, we're going to come down here and we're going to see at the very least, uh, what this invader is. Maybe we can get some cool blocks off of it. I doubt it. I think what's going to happen is we're just going to die here. And I'm going to lose my uh, repair repair bubble and my uh, shield generator. And we are just sliding down this slope. Come on, move. Come on, can you do it? I know you want to. Uh, that's not it, is it? No, he is... He's over there. Yeah, you can see the yellow blocks. So they sent a yellow, a yellow baddie at it, huh? I didn't think we raided that yet, but I guess maybe we do. We do have quite a few blocks on us. Oh, wow. Check that guy out. Wow, he doesn't have very much on him, though. I think that might be an easy kill. If we don't destroy everything. Yeah, don't destroy it. Attach it. Okay, it was attached. I don't care what they say. That was attached. We get that. <laughs> we get some big wheels. Nice definitely use those and uh, we also have a yellow block wow we're moving up pretty quickly almost too quickly I don't know if we'll use the, uh, the yellow wheels I mean I really really want to don't get me wrong uh, and they won't go down if they only want to oh there we go so it does drop down pretty well wow that drops down quite a bit when you look at it like that uh, that one won't go up so I should move this one back a little. Uh, you know, that's probably fine the way it is. And uh, we will put this over here on the side, because why not? Did he drop any weapons? I don't think he did. But I will go ahead and uh, recharge our bot up here. And then we're going to go ahead and end the episode, guys. Uh, again, if you do enjoy these videos, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe. Definitely helps grow my channel, and I greatly appreciate it. Also, if you have any comments, any tips and tricks, uh, or before my bot just completely freaks out here. Uh, and again, guys, thanks for watching. Till next time.